Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Dhana Lakshmi, Assistant Professor from the Department of r and Engineering College. And in this session, I would like to discuss about human rights. Uh, human rights is common to all, as we know. And uh, first of all, we should know our own rights. And uh, as we know our rights, it, is, uh, it will help us to go in a progressive way and uh, to where we know our limitations and everything. So and I, uh, it, is, uh, it is hope that everyone should their own rights. Humans, uh, as a humans, we should know our rights. So we'll see in this session, we'll discuss about human rights. So we, here we can see that uh, the term, the human rights, the term, it has evolved after that uh, World War II. So as, uh, we, as we know all that world, after World War, the people have faced a lot of uh, sufferings and it is an untold sorrow that people realize that peace alone can um, make the world, uh, make the world, in, um, make the world win progress and no, not the wars. So wars are uh, wars are completely destroyed. Destru it's a destruction to the entire world. So people realize that wars do not fetch any solution to anything. So only peace alone can make uh, world to be in a progressive way. So after this World War II, the, the term human rights it has evolved. And here uh, the uh, UDHR, Universal Declaration of Human Rights, it is adopted on December 10th in the year 1948 by the United Nations UN. So once it has been adopted by UN on December 10, 1948, people have realized that it, it will show some positive sign towards the people and they believe that it will give better protection, promotion and enforcement of human rights. Aspects of rights, so when we take aspects of aspects of rights, there are totally nine aspects of rights and we can see that it is, uh, you can see one by one, trust, equality, freedom, hope, peace, justice, rule of law, dignity and prosperity. So these are the aspects of rights. So we take rights, all these things will be in inherent. Inherent to so trust, equality, freedom, hope, peace, justice, rule of law, dignity, and prosperity. And first of all, you should know what, what right is. So when we take any uh, we, we can we take a right, it is a justified claim to a certain kind of positive and negative treatment from others, to support from others or uh, non-interference from others. Or we can say right is something to which every individual in the community is morally permitted. Or uh, we can say right belongs to individuals, it is not from any organization, it is not given by any organization. So right belongs to each and every individual. So it is not any, it is not directly derived from any of the organization. So here we will take definition for rights. There are a lot of definitions available for rights. We will take some of them. So here we can see that uh, according to last year, he is a political economic professor of UK. He defined rights are rights are those conditions of social life without which no man can seek in general to be himself at his best. Without knowing the rights of us, we cannot uh, so we cannot uh, we cannot fetch out our best uh, in gender. So that is the quote given by Lasky. And uh, the other 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 person, H. Green, is a philosopher, and he he gave the definition of rights that rights are powers necessary for the fulfillment of man's vocation as a moral being. So only uh, if, uh, if it rights it, it, it is a power to us where it is essential for us to fulfill our vocation as a moral being. And another uh, definition given by Benny Prasad uh, stated that uh, rights are nothing more nor less than the social conditions which are necessary or favorable to the development of personality. So uh, rights are there should be uh, for the individual for his own personal for his own development. So rights are nothing more than more than or less than the social conditions that is necessary for the development of the individual. So these are the definitions of rights, and still we have a lot of definitions available. So we'll see what uh, what are the features of rights. So when we take rights, so rights exist only in society. So only from the society we are taking our rights. So we can say that the rights are product of social living. Since we are taking all our rights from society, so we can define or we can say that the rights are products of social living. And uh, rights are claims of the individuals for their development in the society. So we can say that uh, the rights are here claiming each and every individual can claim their right for their development, for his own development as well as for the society. And rights are recognized by the society as a common claim of all the people. So yet not only a particular individual, uh, it is commonly, it can be commonly claimed by all the people. And rights are rational and moral claims than the, that the people make on their society. Since rights are, uh, we are taking rights only from our society, it should not be against our society. So when we take any right from our society, that right should be properly exercised, that it should not be against our society. Always it should be a, a <coughs> Always it should be for the goodness of the society and not for against the society. <coughs> mm -hmm. 
and right can't be exercised by the people for his own development which in turn will be the development for the society as we said if an individual get developed obviously it will be the development for the society again always the right should be properly exercised only exercised only for the goodness of the society and not for the degradation of it and here we can see the rights are equally available to all the people so all rights are available to all the right is equal the right to equality again it is equal rights are equally available to all the people and it is not only for the community or only for the particular community or for a particular person no not like that it is commonly available to all and the contents of rights keep on changing with time passage of time because as we know that in the ancient times the women are not uh, getting right to educated but now it is not so so as the time goes on the rights will also be keep on changing so so uh, whatever rights we have at the ancient time it is not the same thing what we have now and we are not going to have the same thing in the future also as the time goes on the rights will also be keep on changing and rights are not absolute they when we take rights there are limitations in them so we think that when a right is given it is a full freedom we got no not like that so when we take any right it is actually it is bounded within the thing so it is having its own limitation so like when i take a right i should uh, that is uh, the dear limit it, it it has the limitations like uh, maintaining public health security order morality and because uh, in recent days we all might be knowing about corona so that time the government was keep on insisting us to wear mask and maintain the distance because i should not infect others if i if i if i think that i should not i should not be get infected by others and then i should also not infect the others so if my right is that uh, i should not be get infected by others then i should also follow the right that i should not infect the others so right will have the limitations that it is should uh, it should maintain the public health security order and should be moral also so that those are the limitations of right so that uh, when we take the rights the limitations will also be there along with rights and rights are inseparably related with duty as i said as it is already linked with the previous point that if i if i say if i take right then i should perform my duty only if i perform my duty i can take out my right so without doing my duty i cannot take my right so no duty no rights or no rights no duty so only if i do my duty i can take out my rights and uh, i can if i have rights it is uh, my duty to respect the rights of others in the society if i think that uh, if this is my right then the other person will also be having the same right so if i if i if i'm very uh, care if i'm very careful or very uh, uh, eager to know eager to follow my right then i should also respect the others right because as like me they are also going to have the right if, if it is paining for me then it is paining for them also so i should respect the rights of others also and right needs rights need enforcement because because without enforcement rights can will not be followed in the society so therefore only if it is enforced in the society by law the people will follow so that everyone will get their own rights so that is it is they these are protected and enforced by the laws of the state so therefore it is a duty of the state to protect the rights of the people and by simple definition if we, if we want to define human rights human rights are certain rights that are vested in every person by virtue of his or her being a human being so i repeat that this is again this is a very simple definition human rights are certain rights that are vested in every person by virtue of his or her being a human being that is every human has rights and this is a characteristics of human rights uh, you can say that also those of human rights there are five characteristics totally available totally are there for human rights you can see that it is universal it is uh, it is human rights belong to all the people it is universal right in, in the universe if any human is there every human will be having rights so universal right but is universally it is uh, you know it's an universal thing here human rights belong to all the people and inalienable it cannot be taken away you cannot separate that right and human rights cannot be taken away or it cannot be separated right and it is interconnected which means that one right will be connected with the other one it is dependent on the other one so that is called interconnected then indivisible that is again you cannot see you cannot treat that human rights as a, as a separate entity you cannot treat that as a separate thing so indivisible then non discriminatory that, that is human rights should not have any prejudice that is should not have any partiality without any partiality the human rights should be respected and should be given to all humans so that is non discriminatory so the five characteristics of human rights are universal inalienable interconnected indivisible and non discriminatory so these are the characteristics of human rights and as we take the source of human rights international bill of human rights and udhr they have categorized that into two one is based on one that convenient they have classified economic social and cultural rights on the other hand they have made it as civil and political rights thank you very much